Hello everyone, it's attorney Carly Eibold with Low Scott Fisher, and today I'm going to answer another Social Security question. Today's question is another general question, uh, which is, when should I retain a Social Security attorney? Uh, well, some people like to wait until they've received their first denial. Others will choose to retain a representative right away. Either way, a representative is probably beneficial at any point, and I will explain why. So when you file an application for disability benefits, Social Security will take it upon themselves to process the application and obtain information from your doctors. Uh, meanwhile, they're going to be contacting you with questions regarding your work history, your current medical status, um, any changes in your condition. They'll also send you questionnaires regarding, um, you know, how you live your day-to-day -day life. It seems all of this stuff is pretty simple, but there's really, there's reasons behind everything that you do. Um, it's always very calculated. And you're going to be receiving this information and you're going to have questions about it. And so the sooner you have an attorney, the, um, the sooner you're going to get those answers as opposed to contacting the Social Security office, waiting on hold, speaking to somebody about your claim that may not have the right answers for you. If you can even get a hold of anybody at Social Security, because due to COVID right now, some of the offices are not functioning at full capacity. So there's a benefit for retaining an attorney early. Um, as you're an attorney, even while the initial application is um, pending, we're going to be um, in re obtaining information from you regarding your physicians. And if you're letting us know that a physician is ready and willing and able to help, we're going to make sure that that doctor provides us with that information right away. We're also going to encourage you to keep journals about your pain levels and the effects of your conditions on your everyday life, because we were going to show a consistency. So the earlier you get an attorney, the better it's going to be for you to show that these, these physical and or mental conditions are disabling, and they've been disabling since day one. Um, if you choose to obtain an attorney after the first denial, that's fine because we're going to do all of the same things that we we're going to do in the beginning of the application process. But the sooner you get an attorney, the better. Because I do get calls from people, a hearing has been set. But what happens then is I still have to look at the whole file. Uh, I always end up having to get more information from doctors because there's always holes that need to be filled. Uh, when it comes to providers and the information they send. Uh, and then I might have to request a continuance in order to prepare or even be available that day. So regardless, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at 440-226-3566. Talk to you soon.